guys and welcome back to the channel my name is Chris Olmy you joined us at the start of season 2 and uh, Rapid Ascent did okay in his last race didn't get that win that we were looking for I'm hoping today will be different we really could use the money but breeding is done for the season so we're not going to hemorrhage as much money as we have been it does cost to breed horses so we're going to see how that goes. We're hopefully going to make money over the next couple of seasons as well from the breeding program. So that's going to get us back on track. In the meantime, though, we do need to win races. So let's see them. There's only five horses in this one. This should be quite decent. And I'm really hoping here, I'm really hoping that we can get this done. We will be top rated and top weighted hopefully decisions decisions isn't that good a horse and can't challenge and can't challenge us for too much of this race no rails at rialto i haven't been able to fix that i haven't had the time and we're out to the gates really slowly and that could have killed us right there four furlongs approaching princess princess at the back decisions decisions Rapid, rapid ascent, ascent up into third. Corset up into second with congrats given. Leading the way now, three furlongs to go. And we're making our way up into a challenging position. So, you can see the field there. Very short field. We're going to start coming round now at the start of this turn. We're going to concentrate again on leader. We're up into second. Congrats given might kick on here though. One and a half furlongs coming up to a one. And it looks like decisions, decisions is going to come from deep here. We're under one furlong. Can we make any kind of challenge? Decisions, decisions is coming into it. And we are going to come through in second. Probably that bad start there costing us the win. And I don't know why, but we just seem to skip right to the jockey screen. So let's see a little bit more what happened there. So not too much, it seems. Not too much at all. Didn't say anything crazy. I mean, we can't read more weight when we're up the gate. You know, really, really poorly. And I think that's the only thing that did stop us from winning. So, need to find a few more races like that. Average starting potential, so... Hmm. But really, I mean, we're looking decent in terms of those bars. For a game-bred horse and just, you know, something you start the game with, that's not too bad. The potential at 80% isn't too bad. We've hit that already cruising burst okay extra speed okay finish a bit disappointing but apart from that i think you know this is a decent horse to be running with so i'm a little bit disappointed a little bit disappointed that we're not getting the results i'd really want from it so let's see then what have we got here couple more races i mean neither one of those really are gonna be where we want to be what about that i mean that's no money whatsoever i mean that's money but i don't think we're gonna win that one because we're gonna be top rated top weighted again but i mean We've got to go for it. There's five furlongs. It's a conditions. Class two is it's what we've been winning. We should be able to make up the distance on that. It's going to be a bit close, though. Um, you know, we might not be able to run in this race. He's a little jaded, but I'm going to go for it anyway. The chance for money is there. And that's something that I cannot ignore. Gulfstream Park, then. Reason for being in the red silks with the white slash might be our main rival, according to the bookies. It is raining. Oh. Don't know. I don't know. 
but we're not let out the gate. That's okay. On this far outside is reason for being our main challenger. Looks like promise a phone call just behind us, uninvite us, clear out into the lead. And then reason for being cable jet, Derby Express and Donetsk are basically just holding back at the rear right now. Three and a half furlongs. And what a pretty track this looks like. Three furlongs, we do seem to be in good position. You see reason for being now creeping up the field. Derby Express and Cable Jet still holding the rear. Sorry, the next Cable Jet is up there with reason for being. Promise a phone call as well. One and a half fur furlongs to go. It looks like Uninvited has kicked on. Down to the last furlong and here comes rapid ascent a little tired maybe from racing just five or six days ago and it's not going to be a win here but it's going to be a decent second place i can take that i can take that after where we've been so we did miss the break again apparently it didn't look like it but okay another poor start and we pick up another second place however that does earn us enough money to do something. Sadly, we paid half of it back out for the late entry fee, which sucks, but you know, we're okay, we're okay. So apprentice jockey, I mean, we can't really afford to retain our jockeys at the moment. I mean, that's just not where we are. Staff wages, staff level, we can't do. Paddock and feed, I think, is almost... almost necessity to have those at full. So let's have a look then. Towards the end, what do we got? Allowance race, selling race, conditions race, for no money. I think we just go for the big money races and hope to steal sort of a finish in the top three. That should get us enough money to keep going. Breeding program is done. That is fine. In that case, let's just skip to the day before the race. Let's try and get a few races in this video and push through season two because there's no point in waiting around when we can't buy any horses we can't really do too much in terms of uh breeding as well that's quite local that's a decent one it's a decent one so let's see then what we can do we will be joint second favorite looks for this race and there we go we're gonna be there go no go decent horse second highest rated behind us but less weight this is going to be a real tough one for us to win i don't believe that we can actually you know come past go no go unless they have a really bad race apart from that i think this field is okay but we should be very competitive and uh, hopefully like i say top two top three should earn us enough money so that's kind of what I'm looking at. On the inside is go, no go. And oh my God, what a terrible start. Absolutely terrible start. Oh, I'm just going to speed this one up for a while because I'm so disappointed. Final two furlongs then. So here goes the field. We're going out into the lead here on the inside. But it looks like pure lemon and go, no go right up into this. And inside the final furlong now, the rest of the field right there with us. Go, no, go, just edges us out. We're in third, though. Pure Lemon looks like they're going to be caught just before the line. Go, no, go with a win. Pure Lemon second, rapid ascent. Third place, how much money? Three grand. Ugh. Yeah, we need second place in those. We need second place in twenty-five to 30,000 races. five furlongs I mean we still are five furlongs right let's have a look trip appeared just about so maybe maybe we look at six maybe I don't think we're gonna climb above six but maybe we should actually try oh, that might be nice 
but no conditions race. I mean, 150,000 on a conditions race. Can I say no to that? I really can't, can I? I really can't. Um, yeah. I guess Castro might be a decent one there. Um, I don't know. I see how much money we're down before the start of this race, then, because each week, of course, you've got to pay your expenses. So, if this feels a little rushed, it's because we are trying to get round to the start of that third season where we can actually sell these yearlings. They'll all be two year olds, we'll be able to sell them. Sadly, at that point, Rapid Ascent might be heading into the breeding barn because obscenely high deterioration so that might not be you know maybe four year old would be his, you know the last point I'd want to raise someone with a full bar I'm not sure so we're down to 28 nearly 29 grand in debt rapid ascent will be the favorite okay okay Roman de Brut definitely in the mix here. So we're looking for the green sleeves. I didn't mean to click that one. I need to hire more staff. I can't look in the paddock, okay? Rapid Ascent, the favourite. Please, please. A first place here would put money in the bank. A second place would raise a lot of debt. I think this all comes down to can we run six furlongs or are we a five furlong horse we're gonna find out it's a decent start Roman de Brut there with ourselves and born the winner uh, born to be a winner sorry and tweeds on the inside there's your front four with promise a phone call just in front of stick stately dude and governor Malibu in the rear at this point we're approaching four furlongs and we are four deep at the front Looks like Tweed's dropping off a little bit and born to be a winner as well. Now coming back into it though, taking over the lead as we round this turn. We do have the inside track, which should give us a bit of an advantage here. Two and a half furlongs. It looks like Rapid Ascent is going to want to just nudge ahead there with Roman de Brut side by side. Two furlongs onto the home stretch and here they go. Down now towards the final furlong and a half. Roman de Brut with a little bit of a run, but rapid ascent pushing out. This is the last furlong. This is where we should fade if we had a five furlong horse. Roman de Brut head by head, neck by neck. And they're just going to steal it on the line. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought we'd just had that oh. oh that's cost us like 50,000 that has cost us 55 and a half thousand in prize money sucks try a furlong shorter shut up we made money we're back we're back in the black i mean it's not gonna be for long but oh i thought we had that i really thought we had that guys so a hundred furlongs hundred furlongs wow five furlongs a hundred grand here jim mckay turf what else have we got though at the six? That's a grade two. I don't think grade races are the way to go. We got a hundred grand here on the thirtieth of April. That might be worthwhile. Depending. Roman de Brut is in that one as well. Ooh. What's this one like? 
Hmm. I think we're going to run the six furlongs again, and then we're going to dump back down into five furlongs for that race because we should be competitive in both. And we kind of need the money. So, there we go, back down into debt. That's the shame where, you know, early game, unless you get the betting right on the first couple of days, really, you're going to be in debt for a couple of seasons if you want to get that breeding program underway. And long term, I think that is the approach to take. You need to get that breeding program out nice and early so you can get the money nice and early. It cost us maybe, I'm going to say it cost us just north of a million, maybe 1.2. So we'll see this first class of horses that get through the breeding program. We're going to see what they sell for in total. I think it's nine horses, so they don't need to go for a lot each. One horse could get more than that, and we'll see. Roman de Brut is there with us again. Head to head. And, uh, yeah, few of the horses we know, Princess, Princess, etc., are in this race. But really, it could come down to a battle again between us and Roman de Brut. So, we're going to see what comes up. Promise a phone call. Tweeds is in here as well. And, uh, yeah, decent start, it looks like. Let's go straight to the front with Tweeds and Roman de Brut, as we were. Condominium at our rear right now. Promise a phone call. Princess, Princess, Spicy, uh, Jerry there with Gata Negra. Then back to Steve's image, form the posse, and put me in the trick bag way down in the rear. Three and a half furlongs. We don't have the inside track. We're getting squeezed by Tweed and Roman de Brut. Three furlongs. We are right up there, though. If there aren't any closers in this, it could come down to a sprint finish between Rapid Ascent and Roman de Brut once more. Two furlongs. We're coming down now onto the home stretch. Roman de Brut is there, but we are going to power pass now down to the one furlong marker. Do we have what it takes to hold him off? I don't believe so. And here comes promise a phone call from Deep. They're going to be running into this. I think we're going to steal second again. We actually come back at the end. Not enough to take the win, but Roman de Brut won. Rapid Ascent 2. And that is 23 grand. And I think we found what we need to do. I think we found what we need to do. Might be better over five furlongs. I understand that. But six furlongs is giving us money. And I'm sorry. But I really want that money. So yes, the big money here. Now, if we can win a hundred thousand race at five furlongs, like we're going for, and you look there, weight-wise, we're fairly competitive. JR's Holiday probably going to win that race if we don't. We're yet to win, but we're yet to finish outside the top three this season. I, I think that puts us in a really, really good place. To be honest with you, I'm really quite happy with that. So let's jump through them. Back to this five furlong. If we can't finish in first place here, maybe second. But if we don't win, I think really we've got to try and find those six furlong races that we can finish second in. So even though the horse might not be set up for it as much, it just might be the way to go. So here, I'm a little worried about JR's holiday. We're going to keep an eye on that one. Rapid Ascent again, though, the favourite. I mean, surely we've got to win one of these. And this is our distance. This is our distance. This could be the one that we win this season and puts the money back in the bank and the breeding program's already done. We're going to earn money at the end of this season. This could carry us through and keep us out of debt so far. So JR's holiday there, 11 to 1. 
and ourselves the favourites. Pretty decent for us, JR's Holiday, not a bad start. They will start to move down to the back of the field though on that inside rail. Congrats given is back again with young John Sunblazer and coverage now just on our outside. Duke of Frenzy right there with him. JR's Holiday leading out Socks on Fire and Rowan's Ridge right at the rear of the field. Three furlongs to go. We are on the outside here. The front three are kind of holding their position. We move to the inside for a shorter track. Two furlongs. We're going to find our progress blocked off here maybe as we come down to one and a half. And this is an ultra competitive field. You can see that they are all here together and we are blocked off behind young John. And that really stinks because that's going to cost us here. That's going to cost us not only first place, but second place, probably third. And it looks like even fourth. We finished down there in fifth place because young John was right in front of us. And that is really annoying. That is really annoying. So, I just want to know when they go to the breeding barn, really. That's my thing there. I mean, where's the big money races? 29th. Sunblazer is up in that. I mean, I think we can compete there. 150. Anything else? No. Six furlongs. What else we got? 100 grand at a grade three. I mean, ugh, none of those are really what we want. So, I think again, we just slide in here and that should be a decent race for us. I mean, we did say that last time and it turned out not to be. But, yeah, I just think that we were sort of held up a bit too much there behind John. And, like, they came in second place. They were in our way, so I think we could have competed up to that level. We are not favourite. That was our first race outside the top three. But uh, we go again. We try another time and get ourselves off to a good start here, hopefully. Maybe not get crowded onto that inside as much. So we do start well out on the outside, which is okay for us. Zebediah up there in the lead with Sun Blazer, probably the, the form horse right now, and chill with Icon. Penatsax boy with us. Then it's back to Sinquit the Passos. Queada, Weekend Liberty Dragon Flower and Castini at the rear. We're on the outside here on this turn and it looks like we're almost six deep here into two and a half furlongs. Queer down weekend Liberty not well out of this yet. Two furlongs and we need to get up the field here and run. We're not going to get blocked off in this though. One furlong approaching here. Let's see. We move to the outside. Can we kick on and do anything in this race? Here comes Castini from deep, and it looks like it's going to be another disappointing race. In fact, we're down there, seventh place. That's over and done with. We earn no money. And, yeah. Yeah. That didn't work. That didn't work. Five furlongs, guys, is not working. So that's going to hurt us. Six furlongs then. Conditions races. We need to find something that's worth money. Two weeks away. That will do me. That will do me. We're top rated with the same weight. That's what I want to see. We're hurting on the distance. But we're going to make up the rest anyway. I'm going to throw my hat into the mix for that. Why not as well. Just see what happens. So let's get this race out of the way. I think we should have enough for both these races. Hopefully this one puts us back in the top three. The next one's going to be a real challenge to see if we can compete. And I... Ooh, I 
don't think that we will be able to. But um, I feel like taking the risks because of the money. Let's see then what we can do. Not a great field we're competing against. The money's decent. We've got a chance here. So let's see what happens. Can we get a good start? It looked like we did. It looked like we were out the gates early there. A little bit of a, a lag afterwards. Short squeeze and uh, ourselves doing decently off the line. But Moroccan Dream and Dalake up in the lead right now. Mulasik will come past short squeeze here on this outside with Bing Bang Bong currently at the rear. Four and a half furlongs. We seem to be in good positions here. But we're on the inside rail. We do move out a little. Good of Moroccan Dream to move out with us and not box us in. Three and a half furlongs to go. Looks like short squeeze here coming up the inside. Mulasik moves to the outside. Maybe to make a move. Two and a half furlongs though. We are right on the shoulder of Dalakai in the lead. We've got Moroccan Dream with us. And two furlongs now onto the home straight. We will see who wants this. There goes Rapid Ascent, driving out past Dalakai, leaving Moroccan Dream behind. Short Squeeze, Muller Sieg and Bing Bang Bong nowhere near right now. We're going to push out. The field's going to come back over the last half furlong. And it's not going to be enough. It's a race win for Rapid Ascent. Not by much, but by enough. Oh. That's what I've been waiting for. Only half a length, but six furlongs. We can compete. We can compete. And that's our second feature race win. Oh, and that's money. That's money. That's what that is. That's money right there. And this should be an interesting field to run against in the next race. So let's quickly get on to that then. I feel much happier now with the money we got in the bank. I feel that we can earn money as opposed to lose money as long as we can find these sort of races and finish top three. So, you know, this is going to be a heck of a run though. And it's a long way away. Hmm... Let's go back to high high. We've got enough money in the bank. We're going to get more money. It's not going to hurt us too badly right now. But grade two. A low. It's not a low interest, race, is it? This is a handicap race. If we can find it, there we go. So Bergholt, good runner there, but will be top weighted. Rocker Doodle Doodle, Kelly's Dino, and ourselves all the same weight, so carrying the same. The rest actually carrying heavy jockeys, so they will be sort of well out of this, I would have thought. So, yeah. We've got a shot here. We might just have a shot. Not, maybe not winning the race, but I'm, I'm targeting those second places in these races to try and earn us money because the more money we earn the more we can sort of speculate on the young horses in those sales schedule races so a decent start for us there Portamento with a bad start but will come right up the inside into second behind Al Vandar we are in third Rockadoodle do on our outside then back to Cristiano Kelly's Dino and Bergholt at the rear on the outside Four furlongs approaching here. Albanda out with a couple of lengths over Portamento. We need to make sure we don't get boxed in here. Rockadoodle Do is pushing us against the fence. Portamento right ahead of us. We need to make a move at some point. Right now, though, two and a half furlongs, it looks like we are going to be boxed right in. We need someone to move out our way. And there we go. We do find some clear track. 
Coming up now to one and a half furlongs, we'll go inside Portamento. Hopefully Al Brandar won't block our way out. And there we go. Here comes the field though. Cristiano, Rockadul, Du, Burkholt, all coming into this. And oh my days, look at them go. We're going to finish last. Grade two. I mean, yeah. I <laughs> couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I mean, the chance there of finishing third and picking up 57 and a half. I couldn't resist. Albanda does pick up the win. That slightly surprised me there. Bergholt manages to make it a dead heat and pick up a share of that prize money. But uh, I really thought we'd be fighting in this sort of uh, third, fourth place finish. <sighs> but I should have known. Too much distance and too much competition. Grade three. Um, yeah, that's way too soon and not really what we're going to be good at. That's going to be a tough one for us. So stay away from graded races, but get into the big money race. Oh my days. There are some big money races. I think maybe that one might be the next one then. We'll just fly through this season. Earn enough money as we can. I think I really do need to get Dominguez back on side. We've got the money now. So I'm really hopeful. Really hopeful. But uh, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I do hope you're enjoying the journey. It's a bit of a quick progress. End of Season 2 through Season 3. You know, we're almost halfway through that. The next video will probably run us through to the start of Season 3. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that we can sort of get that done in the next video, like I say. Then we'll have some money to play with, hopefully. You know, we can actually buy out the rest of the facilities on the ranch and maybe, just maybe, snag ourselves a good young two-year-old to race with. That'll allow us to clear out the breeding barn, put rapid ascent in the breeding barn, and uh, hopefully get enough money to breed him to some decent horses that are game-owned. So that's kind of the plan over the next season or two. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, that's what I think I'm going to want to do. So far, not bad. We've picked up a decent couple of wins. We're back in profit. We're kind of teetering a little bit, but we are better off than I thought we would be. And the promise of two classes of nine falls, you know, if they deliver monetary or one good racer of both classes, we'll be in really, really good position. So hopefully we're going to earn some big money. Till then, guys, thanks very much for watching. I've been Chris Homie. This is Starters Order 6. Y'all take care, and I'll see you back here soon.